Good morning, everyone. It is day 26. Getting a late start already this morning. I don't know what happened to me yesterday, but man, I was just out of it and tired and hungry and yeah. Slept for like 10 or 11 hours. Real hard. So I must have just been exhausted. Uh, the accumulative effect of 25 days of doing this, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to try to watch out for that today. Uh, again, already got a late start. So I'm going to, I've already started packing up. Uh, I'm going to pound out this cup of coffee and try to get on the road as quickly as possible. It's almost 7:30 already. So yeah, day 26, uh, 18 miles till I get to the McDonald's and circle K. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping to make it that far today. So let's get on the road. about 8 15 right now just got all packed up ready to go should be a pretty good day i think i'm feeling a lot better than i did yesterday so hopefully we can get back this uh 18 plus miles i'd like to get to that mcdonald's and that circle k sounds good so uh this is where i camped last night this is big power plant area i should be passing the power plant here pretty quick Trail goes up that way. Yeah, I don't think this was an official camp spot, but it's a camp spot to me. Uh, there's, oh, there's been a bunch of trash ever since I entered this area. There's been trash just everywhere. So, whenever you get close to a road, for some reason, it seems like there's just a lot of trash everywhere. So, yeah, I'm going to head out. Mojave Power Plant. They had a big old chute they're building over on that side too. Pretty cool though. They have me walking right alongside this highway. But at least the trail's off to the side. Made it to the lake. I believe it's Silverwood, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. But yep, made it to the lake. Lots and lots of people down here. Look at all those boats. All over the place. There's people all over the beach too. It's pretty though. Still feeling pretty good, so almost about five miles in for the day already. And let's hit the trail. Just got done having lunch down at Silverwood Park here. Pretty popping place, lots of people around. It's a big lake. Yeah, definitely barbecues, all sorts of stuff going on down there. Still feeling pretty good. Uh, I think I'm about six or so, almost seven miles in for the day. So still quite a few miles left to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them back. But I think we're heading up into these nice little tree top areas. I got some climbing to do. But it looks beautiful up there, so let's go check it out. Definitely doing some climbing. That's the lake we were just at. Yeah, it's going pretty smooth though so far. Heading up into these mountains, the trail continues over there. Yeah, so still feeling pretty good. I think the extra calories is definitely helping. I'm gonna have to up, up the amount of calories and rest that I'm getting and take the leaves over myself. It's pretty windy up here. I hope you guys can hear me. But definitely climbing back up into the trees and stuff. Just stay at a higher altitude from here for quite a while, I think. Uh, gets a little cooler that way, which is nice. Check all that out. Now, we'll see what's over this next hill. This is a pretty cool spot right here. So that's the Silverwood Lake down there. And this is the mountain we just came around. Down that trail there. And then... Right back over on the other side. Huh. Yeah, right at the top of this ridge here, there's the city down over there, I think it's in that direction. But yeah, it's only like nine more miles for today. Shouldn't be bad. Feeling good. Hey! 
So it's about five o'clock. Sitting in this valley at this little campsite right here. And solar panel going for it. Uh, I just had another big pouch of tuna, which was delicious. Uh, definitely, I think, eating more throughout the day and just taking in more protein and calories and stuff is definitely helping. This will be my last little break for tonight before I get to where I'm hoping to be. Uh, being that it's 5 o'clock, I think it should be about 3 hours or so before we get there. It's about 6 miles away or so. It's a lot of climbing though, so I'm going to give myself some extra time to do that. But still, that should get me to that Chevron and the McDonald's. Uh, I'm hoping the Chevron's still open when I get there. Um, and I'll probably go to the McDonald's in the morning. Never looks forward to McDonald's so much in my life. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish taking a break real quick. And hit the road. It is definitely uh, right in the middle of this valley, though. So, not a lot to see. And I haven't seen anybody for hours now. I haven't seen any Pacific Crest Trail hikers in days. Definitely, like... We're staggered out all over the place, it sounds like, so. But yeah, the trail goes off that way somewhere. I'm in this little cubby trying to hide from the wind. Yeah, yeah. Little horn toad. Just hanging out. Oh, okay. Just doesn't seem to care at all. Check this out. Camp over this ridge. I feel like I've been walking through this valley for hours. Camp over that and down the other side. I think it's because I have been walking through that valley for hours. But still. Yeah, I wish I could block that sun a little bit for you. There we go. Mean old cliff's face all made out of sand and chunks of rock. But I believe we are headed up and over this one. Uh, almost seven o'clock now. I think I'm within a few miles. Or about two and a half, or maybe almost three. Not too much longer. And I get the snacky snacks. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's 9.40 at night. Freaking, but I made it. Woo! Uh, down to the store and everything. I think that's about 20 for today. Um, definitely pretty happy about that. Uh, worked out okay. But uh, stopped at the Chevron. I didn't. I went into the McDonald's, but God, it's busy as hell in there. So I'm going to try to go super early in the morning. If it's busy, I don't care. I'm just going to get a bunch of McDonald's. Oop, big moth. But uh, stopped at the store, got myself some beers, some chips, some candy bars, a bunch of donuts, and a couple of energy drinks. It's great great night so um i found this dry river bed which i'm not exactly excited about sleeping in but it's off the road enough um, you can see the cars going by right there but just big enough for me to set up my tent right here and it's not far from everything else it's about a half mile from that mcdonald's and stuff so i'm gonna be calling it a night i'm gonna have my own little personal party right here some chips, oh yeah. Candy bars, oh yeah, and beer, oh yeah. So, sleep well, have a good night, stay awesome. This is Camp Out There Nomad, signing off.